Hello everyone and welcome back for a new French lesson. This is my first long video of the year, so first, Happy New Year! I wish you all the best for 2024 and especially amazing progress in your French language learning journey. Let's start this lesson right away with all the French articles that you should know, including a free PDF that you can download on my website to keep and review. In this video, we are going to see the differences between indefinite articles, un, une, des, definite articles, le, la, elle apostrophe, les, and finally, partitive articles, du, de la, de, elle apostrophe, and des. This lesson is inspired by my textbook, The Complete French Grammar Course. I will have it linked down below if you want it. But before we start, I would like to share with you an amazing program to start this January. I've talked about it before because it's so effective. It's the Lingoda Language Sprint Challenge. 50,000 students have already taken the language sprint. So, you should too. The Language Sprint Challenge is an intensive 60-day course to boost your French and your confidence in French. Complete the challenge and you get an amazing reward at the end. We are going to see all that after I explain to you what is the Language Sprint Challenge. There are two types of sprint challenges. The first one is when you take 30 lessons in 30 days. If you attend all the lessons, you get 50% cash back or 30 credits for classes. The second one is where you take 60 lessons in 60 days. One lesson a day for 60 days. If you attend all the lessons, you get 50% cash back or 60 credits for classes. The classes are on Zoom and you are always part of a small class. So you can interact with the teacher and really make the most of your time. To book a class, simply choose your level from A1 to B2, so beginner to advanced. Choose your date, let's say the 6th, and choose your time. Mm, 12 is perfect. Then you can select the class you want for the day. Very easy. This is an amazing program to include French in your daily routine and make yourself accountable every day or every other day for 60 days. Sign up for the Lingoda Language Sprint Challenge with my code Dylan Sprint to save 20 euros or 25 US dollars on top of the 30% discount that they have right now. And once again, if you complete the lesson, you get either 50% cash back or and 30 credits or 50% cash back and 60 credits depending on what challenge you take. So, highly recommend it. Now let's learn everything about French articles. Before that, we have to talk a little bit about French genders. French nouns have genders. They are either masculine or feminine, and nouns are also influenced by numbers. So knowing the gender of each word is very important when learning French. So when studying new vocabulary, Make sure to learn the article with the noun so you always remember the gender. Don't study only a uh, chat. Study un chat, masculine, okay? Very important notes. So the first article that we're going to learn today are the indefinite articles. Les articles indéfinis. Un, une, des. Indefinite article change depending on if the noun is masculine, feminine, singular, or plural. So we have three different ones and they change with the gender of the noun. Make sense? We use them to talk about unspecified things or people. They translate to a or un and some in English. So let's see some examples. We are going to start with singular masculine. So we have un. Un, this is the article. Un chien. Un chien. Un oiseau. Un oiseau. So here, because it starts with a voile, we have to add a liaison. Un oiseau. 
OK? Un oiseau. We don't say un oiseau. We say un oiseau. And then we have the feminine, which is une. Une. Une pomme. Une orange. Une pomme. Une orange. And then the plural are actually exactly the same for both. We have des. Des. So it's some and des. Des chiens. Des oiseaux. Des oiseaux. We have the same here, but it's a Z sound. Des oiseaux. Des pommes. Des oranges. Des pommes. Des oranges. Now let's see a couple of examples. J'ai un chien. It's exactly the same as in English. I have a dog. J'ai un chien. Here, yeah, there's not too much to say, honestly, about those articles. They are used in a very similar way. So this is the easiest to start with. J'ai un chien. Elle mange une pomme. Elle mange une pomme. Il y a des oiseaux dans le jardin. Il y a des oiseaux dans le jardin. The articles un, une, des don't change if the following noun starts with a voyelle or a consonant. They stay the same, which is not the case for all the articles that we are going to see. This is why I always recommend using un and une when learning new vocabulary, because you can see the gender clearly when you study, which is not the case of all the French articles. The second one are les articles définis. Definite articles. So they are le, la, et l'apostrophe, les. Um, they're quite easy to use, but they do have very specific, um, um, I can't find the word right now, <laughs> very specific cases where they are not used the same as in English. In English, most of the time, you're not going to use it, when in French, we do. But we are going to see all that. First, let's see what is a definite article. So we use definite article to talk about specific things or people. They translate to the in English. So for the singular, we have le l apostrophe for masculine. L apostrophe because if it starts with a vowel or a silent H, we are going to have l apostrophe. This is why I was just saying that it's better to use un and une to study. Simply because here you're going to see with the feminine, you can't see what gender it is if it's L apostrophe. Let's see. So for masculine, we have le chien, l'oiseau. Le chien, l'oiseau. For feminine, we have la, L apostrophe. La, L apostrophe. La pomme, l'orange. La pomme, l'orange. So here, if we compare l'oiseau and l'orange, well, we can't see which one is masculine, which one is feminine, because it's L apostrophe. This is why I always say study with un and une. Un oiseau, une orange, because then it's very clear. Okay? For plural, they both are les. Les. Les chiens. Les oiseaux. Les pommes. Les oranges. Three examples. Le chien dort. Le chien dort. La pomme est sur la table. La pomme est sur la table. J'écoute les oiseaux chanter. J'écoute les oiseaux chanter. So I told you we will see how we use it differently in French and in English. So when and how to use French definite articles. French definite article I use mostly the same way as in English. L'école ouvre à 10 heures. The school opens at 10 a.m. Okay? L'école. In this case, uh, they are used the exact same way. But sometimes they are used differently. We have abstract nouns for things that you can't touch. So, le temps passe vite. Le temps passe vite. Time flies. In French, it will just say to you, uh, time passes fast. That's how we say it. Le temps passe vite. Okay, so we always have an article in French for nouns. I would say 99% of the time. So, le temps passe vite. Okay, with concrete nouns, things that you can touch, 
when talking about them in a general way. Okay? Les chiens aiment jouer à la balle. Les chiens, in general, aiment jouer à la balle. Dogs love to play with balls. So here in English, no article where we do have one. With languages and school subjects, on étudie le français. With continents, countries and provinces. L'Afrique est un continent. L'Afrique est un continent. Article in French, no article in English. L'Afrique est un continent. This one is a little bit more niche, but <laughs> with quantities and prices. Cela coûte 10 dollars le kilo. Cela coûte 10 dollars le kilo. With dates and days of the week. For days of the week, we only use it to talk about something that you do regularly. So every Monday in this case. I do have a video on this. If you want to learn more about that, I will also link it in the description box. So. Elle travaille le lundi. Elle travaille le lundi. Okay, so every Monday. Elle travaille le lundi. And the last one is always very confusing with parts of the body, especially when you have a reflexive verb. I'm going to have a video about this soon. I think in the next couple of weeks, I think. <laughs> But here, we don't have um, my, like in English. Let's, let's see the sentence. Je me brosse les cheveux. Je me brosse les cheveux. I am brushing my hair. So here in French and in English it's different because French use what we call a reflexive verb. So me brosse is a reflexive verb. That means that we are doing it to ourselves. So we don't have to add again a possessive adjective, which is my. Okay, so here it's going to be a regular article. Je me brosse les cheveux. Not je me brosse mes cheveux. No, it's not so bad. We have one more type C, and they are partitive articles. Les articles partitifs. They are du, de la, de l apostrophe, and de. We use partitive articles to talk about something without specifying the quantity. They translate to some, even though sometimes in English you just don't use some. But you don't have to put it there. And it starts by masculine singular. As usual, we have du which technically is de plus le, du, plus a masculine noun starting with a consonant. This is very important. Du fromage, du fromage, du pain. So if you just say some cheese, you don't know the quantity. You don't know how much, okay? So it's du fromage. It's an unspecified quantity. Then we have feminine singular with de la, Plus feminine noun starting with a consonant. Very important as well. De la farine. We don't know how much. De la viande. We don't know how much. De la farine. De la viande. And now, this is why I said it was important to remember that the two last one was only, were only with consonants. Masculine and feminine singular. We are going to have de l apostrophe. When followed by a masculine noun or a feminine noun starting with a vowel or a silent H, such as de l'eau, de l'eau, which is feminine, de l'ail, de l'ail, which is masculine. And then we have plural, which doesn't change and it doesn't matter if it's masculine, if it's masculine, if it's feminine, uh, if it's starting with a vowel or consonant, doesn't matter as long as it's plural, that was my wrist, as long as it's plural, plural we're good. So we have des idées, féminines, des idées, des livres, des livres, some books, masculine, let's see. J'ai acheté des livres, j'ai acheté des livres, we don't know how much, we don't know how many, ok? Je mange du fromage tous les jours, je mange du fromage tous les jours, we don't know how much. We know that just some cheese, cheese. And finally, elle a des idées. Elle a des idées. Quick note before we end this video about partitive articles becoming de, the apostrophe, in negative sentences. 
So if we see the same sentences, we are going to have Je n'ai pas acheté deux livres. Je n'ai pas acheté deux livres. Je ne mange pas deux fromages tous les jours. Je ne mange pas deux fromages tous les jours. Elle n'a pas d'idée. Elle n'a pas d'idée. Ok? It's a very common mistake uh, that French learner make, so I thought I would point that out. And that was the last point of this lesson already. I have plenty of lessons coming for this challenge, plenty of really interesting lessons, so please don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and don't forget your free PDF to keep and review, because this is a topic that needs to be reviewed a lot, so then you can just review by yourself at home. That's it, I will see you next Wednesday for a new lesson. A mercredi prochain.